There was one day I went to my mail tray and I discovered a memo, that's how long ago it was, no emails, <laughs> a memo which says, oh, the government want somebody to do a research project on mentoring in schools, you're doing it. And I kind of facilitated a So I went off to Jim and I said, Jim, what's this all about? He says, just go and do it. And that, that was probably the best advice. He says, just go and do it. Six months later, I got another memo. We still hadn't got to email at this stage. I got another memo and said, we're hiring you out. We're hiring your services out to, the, to Strathclyde region. So the next three years, I was on the road teaching, what was it, management of staff development and appraisal. You were doing module zero, weren't you, at that point, managing <laughs> school boards. So we used to meet intermittently. But Jim, his faith in me, actually then said, OK, I can do this. And I must admit, after that, you know, the rest is history, as they say. Within. The, one, the other person in the room is Pauline. You did, you did mention that book, Performance Management. We didn't like the title at the time. It was what the publishers want. But again, what Pauline showed me was the possible possibilities. That was the first book I wrote. Wrote it with Pauline, and she showed us how to write a book. Jenny and I, you showed us how to write a book. And from that, I must admit, that those, those two experiences were seminal. The third experience, that person isn't in the room, but many of you know her, Jenny Reeves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Jenny taught me the best thing, which is the ideas are the important thing. There's no, don't be precious about your ideas. This is a joint intellectual endeavour. I have to say, it, she said, or yelled this at me across a, a table as my lower lip was quivering because I'd said something and she said, that's a lot of mm -hmm rubbish. <laughs> as a kind of young development officer, it was, it was kind of dodgy, you know, a bit, I was a bit eerie about that. But those early days have kind of given me, I think, a, back, um, a kind of strength about this is really important. Professional learning is important. At that point, it was a bit of a Cinderella. It was something that I was hired out to do. Um, but I was lucky that I was hired out to do it, and I met lots of different people. And it got me into this area about saying, this is really interesting, and I'm meeting interesting people. Not that my colleagues in St. Andrews were, you know, the youth policy. You know, I get the drift. You know. So it, it, I think going around and working what the what I got the opportunity to do was go around and work with head teachers, aspirant head teachers, and I continue with that. You know, and they, in many ways, have also been the making of me. Every time I start an SQH um, cohort, I say to them, I will learn more from you than you will learn from me. Your sense of what you do, the way you do it, the tenacity with which you do it, is what I learn from you, year by year, and I'm on my 22nd cohort. So I'm maybe, maybe, maybe getting there with it. So to my colleagues, my current colleagues, this is where I get to give you the advice. You know, when I always start that sentence, if I was you, you know, I think you should do, I'm now at the point in my career I can actually say that. But I would like to say thank you to IBDA, to my colleagues in IBDA Scotland, um, for making this possible. I've always believed and I've always learned by collaborating with others, and I hope now I can pass on the mantle and support my colleagues as they go forward to collaborate with them. But thank, what I'd like to do is end by saying thank you very much to Ibda for the microphone, if nothing else, <laughs> capture an audience, um, but to say thank you very much genuinely for the Ibda Fellowship. I have to say, um, you know, in the university system, they're all very keen on esteem and indicators. But for me, this is a marker of this is a serious professional association. It has that sense of not just academia, but it is about the profession, it is about practice, it is about policy. And for me, I take it as part of my team, my wider team in the university, yes, Marjorie and, and colleagues, my colleagues in um, Edinburgh University, we're a small place so we get to know everybody, and my colleagues in Spell and in the GTC. I take it on their behalf because I think all of those are part of this because they're all part of that relationship. So again, thank you very much. Thank you.